In the past years, we have seen how water levels have been affected in the western and the eastern part of the country and we have well seen that in the western part of India, it is mainly the fluoride toxicity which is common and in the eastern part, it is the arsenic. But now we are now more worried about uranium contamination going beyond permissible limits in the regions of Chhattisgarh. So let's understand what should be the regulations that should be brought into account and how and what are the reasons we can prevent it now first of all according to the guidelines of world health organization the permeable limits for uranium is 15 micrograms per liter however the government gives the guidelines of 30 micrograms per liter as permissible Later on, the Institute for Bark, uh, that is the Atomic Energy Research Institute in India, gave the limits up to 60 is acceptable. However, we have seen the regions in Chhattisgarh where the limits have crossed 100. And Chhattisgarh, uh, the regions where they have crossed 100 are uh, 100 micrograms per liter, okay, are actually some of the six major districts and Chhattisgarh as we know is known for producing 100% uranium ore uh, in some of the major areas. So the areas which have been affected are Durg, Rajnandangao, then you have Kankar, Balod. In Balod, the contamination has reached nearly 130 micrograms per liter. Similarly, we have uh, Bematra and Kharwada. So these are the major districts in Chhattisgarh which have seen extremely high levels of uranium three to four times more than the permissible limits. Now, another question comes in, what is the impact that it would have on the health? So it, it is responsible for various cancer. It is responsible for kidney failure. So causing skin um, cancers and then pulmonary issues are again cited with uranium contamination. Now, one of the very inexpensive ways to handle this uranium outbreak or the uranium going beyond the permissible limit is using the bark of gooseberry which is the amla tree and that has proved out successful in one of the researches so this is a way through which bio adjusting technologies could be used to control the amount of uranium going into the water but yes the amount of heavy metals in the waters have been a very very high concern not only in India but this has been a global phenomena with more of mining activities with more of industrial activities this has become a new issue that is of a significant concern we will be covering many significant issues like this in the upcoming lectures stay tuned for more updates thanks for joining in today